Yeah, so hello, hi people. Uh, my name is Caroline Mwende, once again, Coach Mwende, uh, boss lady. Um, I am a network marketer by profession. And um, today I just want to make it uh, very, very, very quick. Uh, I want to talk to you about um, uh, some things that we feel are that uh, majority of us think that are okay and uh, uh, these things are not okay. Um, I've seen people live with so with the with limiting uh, mindsets, uh, whereby you think about things that limit you from your own growth, things that hold you back from getting better or uh, being better. I have met people with big dreams, someone who believes that they deserve the best and they, they are really, really working so hard to make it happen. They are coming uh, across opportunities, taking them and using them to their advantage. But again, I've also met other people with um what I call limiting uh, d uh, beliefs, eh? things that you f believe in and or things that you think uh, should be the way they are, but in real sense, no. Uh, look um, at the people that you know in the world. We have people that are living the best lives, eh? taking holidays, flying all over the can uh, the world, uh, driving uh, nice cars, um, uh, living good lives, uh, leading a good lifestyle, being able to afford the best housing in the best uh, neighborhoods. But again, we have other people on this other side who tend to believe that it's okay. This is what I have. This is what I survive with. But how about all of us? Um, uh, how about if all of us could dream better? Remember, um, you will not work on something unless you dream about it, unless you visualize it, unless you're able to see, uh, to put yourself in that situation and imagine how it would feel being that person or being in that kind of a situation. Uh, let me give a few examples. I've seen people... Um, especially the wealthy, being uh, very comfortable um, driving uh, nice machines. Uh, you'll find that in a very big, uh, awesome machine, a uh, five-seater, uh, we only have one or a maximum of two people. These guys need space. You see, they want their privacy. And that, that is what's comfortable for them. I've also seen other people, I call, I'll not call them the poor, but let me talk about the broke. Uh, somebody being very comfortable traveling in a matatu with 14 other people plus, 30 other people plus, 70 people plus. And um, there's a lot of commotion and we, you don't think like there's anything wrong with that. It's okay. It's very, very okay for that person. There are so many challenges in that. And uh, somebody will still not see these challenges. as uh, affairs hiking, affairs uh, being low, matatus not being available, uh, maybe waiting for a matatu somewhere for as long as 10, 20 minutes uh, before you get uh, uh, maybe a matatu to board. And then after that, the commotion, a lot of stops, wasting a lot of time, um, <clears throat> maybe disrespect from the matatu operators. And still, somebody will feel like this is okay. But how about if this person could dream about being better, traveling better, maybe having their own small car? Will they work harder? Will they open up their eyes to new opportunities? Let's uh, look at maybe the living, where we stay. I have seen people very, very comfortable living in a very small area with a hundred others. Maybe it's a plot or an apartment whereby in that same apartment or in that plot, you have a hundred plus other people living in the same 40, 50 mm -hmm. families living in the same area. And this person living in this area feels like it's normal. It's okay. Maybe because they've not been exposed to a better living standard. But imagine this other person um, who is living in a five-acre land with their own mansion with just uh, his or her family, two, three people or five. Yes, with several cars traveling uh, very, very comfortably. Imagine taking that person from that situation and bringing them to the plot and matato situation they'll definitely feel like something is amiss. Mm -hmm. So how about this person in this kind of a life can open up their minds, dream better, and work smarter, work harder, 
do you think they'll have a chance of getting to the other side? Yes. I want to believe uh, it's very possible because um, I want to believe for you to be able to get to the other side. Number one, you have to believe that it is possible for you. You have to believe that, yes, you can make it happen. You have to adopt a rich man's mentality or mindset. Then start doing things the wealthy do. Number one, start being a creator instead of a consumer. Look into the market, find things that are missing and create opportunities for them to be in the marketplace instead of just being a consumer, consumer. The little you have, you can only give out and get services and products. Uh, the other thing is that uh, instead of focusing on saving your money, start investing it. You see, uh, because once you invest, it gives you an opportunity to increase your resources. But the moment you start saving, how much is, how much will savings bring back as compared to investment? You have the answer. Uh, you have the answer to that. The other thing is that um, I've realized that a majority of the people that live on this side of the world, uh, whereby they don't have privilege of so many things, uh, they tend to act according to their feelings. You see? Uh, but this life, you should not live an emotional life. Uh, you, life should not be driven or your actions, um, sorry, should not be determined by your feelings they're supposed to be determined by intelligence you see act according to facts to the intelligence that you have not according to the feelings because again if you act according to your own feelings many a times your feelings will mislead you you will not feel like doing the right thing because it is a bit uncomfortable and you will not do it you will not feel like working hard. You will not feel like waking up early. You will not feel like doing so many other things. And this will keep you in one place. But how about if you act on intelligence? Yes, I don't feel like doing A, B, C, D because I'm a little lazy. Because it is making me a little uncomfortable. But if I do these things, I'm going to have a better tomorrow. So I'm going to act Irregardless of what I'm feeling, because I believe or I understand that these actions will bring about better results, a better life. And then the other thing is that um, uh, as you're living every single day, you need to focus on having surplus for yourself. You're not supposed to be living a life whereby you have less than what you need. Work hard, get what you need, have surplus, then use the surplus to accelerate a business, your business, to accelerate your education, to accelerate your living standards, as in to take whatever you have to the next level. Yes, so this is uh, these are a few things that I believe in, a few things that I think might hold us back. And uh, I want to believe that without growth, sorry, uh, without um, goals, without... Uh, dreams without things that make you uncomfortable there is no growth so if you want to grow kindly get uncomfortable about where you are and what you have get uncomfortable then start working towards becoming better and i want to believe that is going it is going to happen it doesn't matter your situation currently it doesn't matter where you are how you are who you are what matters is what you're going to do about your dreams. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, my hope for all of us is that we get to achieve our dreams, live a life of abundance, and live this planet better than we found it. Help other people, grow them, grow yourself. And um, yes, let's live that kind of a lifestyle. Because I believe we were not born to just pay bills and die. We were born to live life. Make it happen for yourself.